time to record my monthly what I sold on eBay video. This is not the sales for a month. If it was, I'd be starving in the gutter by now. Every month I do one week where I record everything I sell that week and tell you the price paid and what it sold for and so on and so forth. So, it, so today is Wednesday, but this is everything I've sold since Monday. So um, sales are very, very slow at the moment, but I'll show you what we've got anyway. So first up, I paid £2 for three of these trays at the car boot sale, and this one has gone for £8. I've sold two so far, I've got one left. One went for a tenner. This one's gone for eight on a special offer, on a, on a best offer, and there's one left. So that, that's that one. Next up, this comforter came in three or four for a pound. So I'm going to put it into the figures at the end as... 35p for safety's sake uh, that has gone for 7 786 goodness knows how it ended up at 786 but that's what it's gone for so yeah that i'm going to put it at 35p it would have been might have been four for a pound which would have made it 25p but i'm going to assume that it was three for a pound i don't know why you're in such a weird screen you're in a weird screen size and i don't know why okay i've managed to make you full screen uh, this Terry Pratchett Mort jig, so I bought this on Monday when I was out with Lex at the charity shops. I paid one ninety nine, and that has come for £30. These are all plus postage, by the way. All of these prices are plus postage. So that's gone for £30. So that was a nice sale. The lamp, this is one of those um, daylight lamps. It's a Lumi Arabica lamp. It has no stand and it has had a repair on the cord. Both of things, those things have been declared. But obviously they've ex they have re reduced the price that I was able to ask for. It. So that's gone for twenty four ninety nine. I paid, I think I paid £1.50, but it might have been £2. I think he asked £2 and I knocked him down to £1.50 because of the damage on the plug. That was it. £1.50 for that at the car boot. So that's gone for 25 plus postage. In the box here, these are Skechers Tone Ups black winter boots. They came in the sacks that I get when I buy bulk buy clothing, so they cost me less than 50 pence. They've got £24.99 plus post. The Clark's Active Air shoes, I bought those at the car boot sale the week before last. I got two pairs for £3, so they cost me £1.50. Those have gone for £15 plus postage. The Hobbit book came from the same car boot on the same day. Um, I was hoping it was one of the more sought after ones, the earlier editions, but it's only a fifth print and that has gone for eight seventy five. I paid a pound, it's gone for eight seventy five plus postage. The Marks and Spencer uh M S bobble cap, this is from the Emily Button and Friends collection by Marks and Spencers has that cost me 50p and that has gone for 9.99 that was a car boot buy 50p 9.99 plus postage the vintage brass frogs under an umbrella elephant elephant ornament came from in a box of stuff that the um, store 69 sent me so that cost me nothing at all and has gone for 10 pounds plus post this Johnson Brothers Born to Shop mug, which says, would you like to speak to the man in charge or the woman who knows what's happening? That was £1.50 last week or the week before. Molly, stop, love. That was £1.50 last week or the week before at a charity shop down in Newton Abbott when I went down to see the Caroline. That's gone for £10. Sorry, that's gone for £9 plus postage. That's on the best offer. These Clark's Ladies Free Flex Black Brown Square Toed Flat Shoes have gone for... 750 plus post they've been listed a long time they came in sacks they came in bulk by sacks so they cost me less than 50p they've gone for 750 plus post they're really not very pleasant i'm surprised they've ever sold at all the slumberlux hilton collection curtains came in the sacks of stuff that i had from my friend's mum um just at the beginning of lockdown and they've gone for 13 pounds plus post so they cost me nothing at all and that's it that's it for today um so i'll be back hopefully later in the week with more sales Okay, it is now Friday. I am doing the sales that I've had since the last time we spoke, which was Wednesday. So still pretty slow on the sales front. Yesterday wasn't a bad day, but Wednesday itself, I think I only sold three things all day. Um, and one of those hasn't paid for. So going through these, I have got first up, I'm plainly not first up, I'm putting them in my order. I started packing parcels before I remembered I was supposed to be filming as usual. These are Karen Millen jeans. They have... 
I paid 50p for them. They came in the in the sack, so maximum 50p, and they've gone for 15 pounds plus postage. This two navy jersey summer dress, which is very much a rip off of a jewels print, um, that has that is also a sack item, 50p at the most, and that has gone for nine pounds plus postage. Two is Sainsbury, so don't necessarily dismiss that. If the print is nice, it will sell anyway. This purplish London dress, also a sack number, so this has cost me less than 50p and has gone for 16.25 on a best offer plus postage. So the reason she, the reason we did 16.25 was because my postage sets at 3.75, so she paid around 20 for that when she'd done that. My Sally Disney Store mug, this cost me one pound at the car boot sale. Um, the one when when we had my birthday weekend celebrations. And we all went to the car boot over in Whitchurch, paid a pound for this, and uh, it has gone for, oh, sorry, I've got the cursor over there, £18. I had it up at £22.99, it's gone for £18 on the best offer. I accepted the offer just to get things moving, so very happy with that return from a pound. In this box here, because I boxed these after I listed them to make them easier to store, is a pair of River Island Block Heel Chelsea boots. Um, they came from the sacks. They cost me 50p. They've gone for £15.99 plus postage. And, of course, the benefit of boxing them when you list them is that's done now this piece of costume jewelry i don't remember where i got it from but i know i won't have paid more than two pound at the very very most it may have come in a big bundle in which case it would have cost me almost nothing but i'm going to put it into the figures at two pound for the sake of argument and it has gone for 6.99 it's been listed a while i'm not very good at jewelry i tend to leave that to lex usually these trousers are out of the bags. They were 50p at the most and they are by Simply Stock Shop. So they're just a pair of comfort trousers. They've gone for £7. Simply Stock Shop is not a particularly high-end brand. In fact, there's there's a branch of it inside the BRI of all places. I don't, I've never seen a branch of it anywhere else, but there's a branch inside the BRI, Bristol Royal Infirmary. £7 plus postage on those. And then this Radley bag at the back here sort of is my own. So you may have seen me buy this when I was out with Caroline a couple of months back. Uh, we went to Chip and Sobbery and I bought that for myself. So I've had three months of use out of it. I paid £18 for it. I have sold it for £18. So it kind of cancelled itself out. Now, because I've had it myself and used it for three months, I don't know whether to put it in as £18 on the costs, really. It's sort of... I might... I might leave it out altogether, even though I filmed it. I might leave it out of the figures altogether at the end because I paid 18 I've sold it for 18 I've used it for three months in between. I might leave it out of the calculations. If you're not happy that I did that, do say in the comments and let me know how you think I should have calculated it. But, I mean, it's going to cancel itself out either way anyway, isn't it? So, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, that was... I paid 18 I used it for three months. I've sold it for 18 so happy with that one. And then the Drunk, Stoned or Stupid game I bought when I was down with Caroline a couple of weeks ago in Devon. I paid £2. I thought it was better a better pickup than it was. And it's sold for 6 And I'm very happy to move it on for 6 to be honest, having paid 2 The Banana Republic cardigan has been in stock for a very long time. The background to this photograph is from a loft. So it's been in stock for well over two years. I've reduced it and reduced it. And it's finally sold for £4 plus postage. It will have come out of the sacks. I won't have bought this. So it's a 50p number, but even so, £4, not exactly a big turnaround. And another 50p from the sacks is this new look silver grey silky bomber jacket. And that has sold for £9 plus postage. So that's everything going out today. OK, luckily sales actually did pick up towards the end of the week so it's now monday and i'm just filming the rest of the stuff that sold last week so everything up to everything that sold up to midnight last night so um this disney store mug uh, went for five pounds i thought they weren't going to pay but they finally did in the end i will have paid a pound for this at the car boot sale at the most so that's one pound into five not a great one but it's been listed a long time this cuddle duds um sweatshirt i bought this last week when i went charity shop with lex and josh i paid two pounds for that and that has gone for nine pounds plus postage on a best offer this harma beads bundle job lock here so there's two boxes of beads and one pack of the boards i would have collected that gradually so i will have paid i won't have paid more than a pound for that i think i paid 50p for that and these i will have paid pennies for so i'm going to put the whole lot in at three quid and that has sold for 20 pounds plus postage the tall yellow disney store mug 
Again, wouldn't have paid more than a pound for it at the car boot sale. It's been in stock a long time. Look at the dust on it. I must dust that before I post it. That has gone for £3.20 on an auction. That's how long it's been in stock when it went on an auction listing at a two ninety nine start. And also that, and also on a two ninety nine start was this Jaeger dress. Now, why this didn't sell, I don't know. It's a really beautiful dress. It's got a really decent picture with it. But I finally ended up on a two ninety nine auction start, and that's gone out of three nineteen plus postage. It will have come from the sack, so it will only have cost me fifty p. But even so, three nineteen for a Jaeger dress. That's appalling. However, this one makes up for it. This is another fifty p sack item. It is a wedding dress, a designer wedding dress, and this has gone for eighty pounds, eight zero eighty pounds plus postage. I don't want to get overly excited about that sale until I'm sure she's going to keep it. Because you know what people like wedding dresses? They want their wedding dress to be perfect. So she may get it and not like it. She may get it and may not fit properly. So I'm, I'm almost half expecting this one to come home again. But if it doesn't, then that's a very nice sale. £80 out of 50p. Uh, next up is this jigsaw dress. Been in stock a very, very long time. Finally went out on an offer of £10. It came from a charity shop over in Knoll West. And I bought it. At least two and a half years ago, I remember paying about four pounds for it. It was either three ninety nine or four ninety nine. I'm going to put it in four pounds. I don't think I would have paid a fiver, but yeah, that's gone for ten pounds per postage. Next up is this Bowden skirt. This is a sack item, so it cost me fifty p. It's gone for eleven pounds plus post, and then this Starbucks Hong Kong mug is another one that went out on an auction listing in the end. I always thought these city ones were worth picking up, but apparently nobody wants Hong Kong. Look, dust on it again. Let us dust that. So that's gone on auction at two ninety nine. I will have paid a pound for that one again. Auction at two ninety nine. And your Madsen teal top. Another oh, this one. No, that's new. I think. I think I bought this one at a car boot, so I think I remember paying a pound for several different items, hoping it would fit me. Well, it did fit me, it didn't suit me, and that's gone out of five pounds plus postage. Um, underneath the hammer beads there, you can see a Terry Pratchett jigsaw. I bought three of these when I was out with Lex last weekend for one ninety nine each. I've gone for thirty pounds plus postage. This sea salt top came in the sacks and cost me. I'm doubting myself now. Did it come in the sacks? I think it did. I think it came in the sacks 50p into £8. The Merrill boots, which I already packed in the box because I packed them when I when I listed them, they came in the sacks. They were less than 50p and they have gone for £30 plus post. I've got an add to comfort here, which I will have paid 50p for at the most, and that has gone for £6.39 plus post. These Ravel shoes came in the sacks, cost me 50p, £8 plus postage. Get in there, get in there. I told you it picked up. Oh, somewhere here. Hang on, here they are. I, I, they're lurking in the corner there with, oh God, timber. These Dunoon Creepy Crawly storage jars, I bought them at the car boot last weekend, last Sunday. I got three for a pound. It was one blue and two yellow. Three for a quid, I've sold one blue and one yellow. I didn't think I could sell them as a set because there, there should be a blue, yellow and a red for a set. So I listed them separately. I sold one blue and one yellow for a total of £16 plus two lots of postage. So they went to the same buyer. She bought the blue one first. And then she messaged me saying, how excited because she hardly ever sees this stuff. And I said, well, did you know I've got the yellow one listed? So I sent her a lower offer on the yellow one to compensate for the fact that she would pay an additional lot of postage. So she has paid nine on this, seven on this, and then two lots of three seventy five postage. So so that, that's good. For the, they were three for pounds, so 66p for the two. They've gone, that's gone into £16, so pleased with that. And then, what's next? The Torchwood trading cards came from Cheddar Car Boot Sale last weekend. They were all in what I thought were sealed packs. I pulled out a load of sealed packs out of the bloke. It had boxes and boxes of stuff, and I pulled all these, what I thought were sealed packs out. And then when I got home, I realised they weren't sealed. They'd just been slit open down the back, so they'd obviously been gone through and any rare ones had been taken out. That meant I couldn't sell them as sealed packs, which I wanted to, so I took them all out of the packaging, put them into a box, and sold them for £6 plus postage. So they cost me £1.50, so, you know, £6 is it is, yeah, I'm happy to get my money back on what I thought was going to be better than it turned out to be, if you see what I mean. Joanna Hope trousers were given to me by a friend to sell, so they cost me nothing and they've gone for eight eighty six. That's a weird amount. I don't know why they've gone for eight eighty six, but they have. 
The little white company elephant cost me 50p from the car boot sale and he's gone for 375. He wasn't really worth picking up. I wouldn't rush to pick him up again. Paper Chase, Paper Chase Travel Journal. I got three of these for a pound from the car boot sale and that one's gone for £4.50 plus postage. The Fur Real Friends Cookie Dog cost me... How much were you? You were a pound. You were a pound. Uh, you were. He sat here for ages waiting for me to get um, batteries to test him, but I finally did get some and test him and listed him... Um, I think I listed him at 20 took an offer of 15 so he's gone. And then this Murano clown, which I picked up thanks to Kelly mentioning them in her videos. I already packed him for safety after I finished listing him. But he looks, I'll see if I can pull the picture up on the screen, bear with. He looks like that. And I paid £4 at the charity shop the week before last and he has gone for £24 plus postage. So pleased with that one. Thank you very much, Kelly Flipping Fantastic Finds, for the hint on those. This George Top... Again, a sack item. I think I, I normally I wouldn't keep the stuff from the sacks that supermarket brands, but because it was dragonfly print, I kept it. It's gone for it would have cost me six fifty p. It's gone for six pounds plus postage. And finally, these hotter daydream boots. I paid three pound for these last week when I went sourcing with Lex in Nailsy, and they have gone for fourteen pounds plus postage on a best offer. So a much better end to the week than it started, and I've got twenty six parcels to pack. Yay! That's the end of this week's video. I'll put all the figures at the end as usual. And uh, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next month with another one of these. Cheers. Bye bye.